My name is Monty Gabler, previously Matthew Gabler. And in uh, 2001, I met a girl in college. Uh, we really liked each other and we started dating. She was Christian and uh, I was a very reformed secular Jew. So I was very open to uh, hearing what she and, and her family had to say uh, about scripture. And so I went ahead and I studied with them. And uh, after a little while, I came to embrace Christianity as a, as a new truth and attempted to assimilate it into, into my, my Jewish heritage. So we ended up getting married, and we lived together for, for many years, as uh, uh, both adapting Christianity and Judaism into our, into our lifestyles. In 2004, I came to Israel on a birthright trip, and it inspired a newfound interest in, in my heritage, both where I came from culturally and religiously. So after I got back from Israel, I decided to study more uh, Jewish topics to really understand who it, was, who it is that I am and, and where I came from. When I first started studying with my wife and her family, I was very hesitant to accept what the New Testament had to offer. Even though I wasn't a religious Jew, I still identified very heavily with my Jewish roots. So I was very reluctant to accept what they said, but coming from a non-religious background and having little to no knowledge of Torah, I had nothing, I had no basis to stand on to refute anything that they were telling me. Christianity has answers for everything. And the New Testament, if you don't understand the Hebrew Bible, the New Testament answers all the questions. It fills in all the blanks. And it is very, very convincing to anybody that doesn't have a clear understanding of Torah. It is very convincing to show you that, that Jesus is the Messiah. But when I began studying Rabbi Singer's lectures and really looking into what the Bible had to say and, and really studying what it says in Hebrew, I really started to understand what it's really saying and the true meaning of the Hebrew Bible. The real turning point in my marriage was when my wife and I wanted to have children. And I was at a point in my life where I decided that my kids had to be Jewish. Not Messianic Jews, not Christian Jews, but they had to be Jewish. And my wife wanted them to be Christian. And it was at this point when we both finally realized that it wasn't going to work. That she needed a Christian husband and I needed a Jewish wife. So it was then that we decided together that we needed to each move on to pursue our our destinies. So I went to UCLA and I got set up with a, a rabbi through uh, the Jewish Awareness Movement and began studying with him one-on-one -on -one and really learning where I come from and what Judaism is about. But I was conflicted with everything that I believed from the New Testament and, and Christianity that I had learned with my wife and, and her family. So my rabbi went ahead and referred me to Rabbi Tovia Singer's webpage. And that's where I started listening to all of his lectures on what the real Messiah is and what the meaning of the Messianic prophecies are really about. When I first started doubting Jesus as the Messiah, somebody asked me the question that if Jesus doesn't atone, does not atone for sin, then what does? And that's the first lecture that I listened to, Rabbi Singer's lecture on sin and atonement. And it was that lecture that first gave me the information indicating that the New Testament's not right. Rabbi Singer's lectures were the gateway that, that absolutely allowed me to have a very clear understanding of what to expect, what is the Messiah? Who is he? And how do we know whether he has or has not come?
I believe that what Rabbi Singer does is, is really amazing. I have a lot of respect for, for his work and for all his accomplishments as a rabbi, as a teacher, as a lecturer. Rabbi Singer and his lectures so inspired me that I've decided that I would really myself like to pursue a career in counter-missionary work and trying to do some outreach to Christianized Jews. I would also like to be able to touch the lives of Jews that have also been affected by Christianity and missionaries. I was amazed at the depth that Rabbi Singer goes into in all of his lectures. He covers an amazing array of topics and really leaves no stone unturned in terms of the religious aspects of not only messiahship but just everything to do with Christianity and, and how it can, how Christianity can come into play with Judaism and with Jews. Had I not found Rabbi Singer's webpage, I would probably still be a Christian Jew today.